everyone, I've got another story here. It's by Jill Murphy and it's called Whatever Next. Let's see what this one's about. Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Whoosh! Into the night. Another owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, he said. Baby Bear, would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds and Baby Bear waved at some of the passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up, up and above the clouds, past millions of stars. Still, at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went. Down and down, the owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. It rained and rained and dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Oh no, it's getting all wet. Home went Baby Bear back down the chimney and on the living room carpet with a bump. Mrs Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped as she as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as if you'd been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs Bear laughed. You ran your stories, she said. Whatever next? And she gave him a bath. And that was the story of Whatever Next. Bye everyone!